Hello friends, welcome to the Spacetech YouTube channel. Today we are going to talk about the the most powerful hybrid electric aero propulsion system testing by the Rolls-Royce. So, if you have not yet subscribed to us, we invite you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Rolls-Royce has started testing the first elements of the most powerful hybrid electric aero propulsion system at a testbed in Bristol. The tests are part of the 2.5 MW Power Generation System 1 PGS-1 demonstrator program for future regional aircraft. Rolls-Royce has begun testing the AE-2100 engine element and specialist controls and thermal management system supported by a system integration generator, at the company's testbed 108 in Bristol, UK. Later this year a fully operational generator and a 3000 volt power electronics system currently completing testing at a Rolls-Royce facility in Trondheim, Norway. It will be brought together to start full PGS-1 system testing. The generator can be used either for hybrid electric propulsion systems or as part of a, more electric, system for larger aircraft. Alan Newby, Director Aerospace Technology and Future Programs, Rolls-Royce, said, Electrification offers a new way to power short-haul aircraft and we want to be at the forefront of pioneering this technology. Our PGS-1 tests will lead the way in finding out what this new generation of hybrid electric propulsion system is capable of delivering. For example, our generator is about the size of a beer keg but it needs to produce enough electricity to power around 2,500 homes and do so continuously. By doing these tests we will be able to validate our digital modeling and find out precisely what is physically and technically possible. Once ground tested, PGS-1 will then provide a technology basis for any future hybrid aircraft program requiring megawatt power. Both Testbed 108 and PGS-1 have been supported by the UK Aerospace Technology Institute's Megaflight project while the 2.5 MW electrical generator, motor, and power electronics design, make and testing in Trondheim has been supported by the EU Clean Sky 2 program. 